there's Milo. He says, good morning, YouTube. I gotta watch out, it's a little drizzly. I don't wanna get my camera, my new camera all wet. But see, it's kinda rainy out there. We're gonna have rain for about, maybe, I think off and on for the next week. A little drizzly today, cooler. So I am so glad that it is cooler today because today is my doctor day. And I don't, and I will not leave Milo in a van when it's, you know, hot. So he worked out to my benefit that we are cooling down for at least a while and I'll know more today what's going to happen. But I'll turn the camera around, but I just wanted you to see him. He says, morning, YouTube. <laughs> Still in his little um, nautical <laughs> sweater. We might have to warm you up, but put a little warmer sweater on you today. All right, I want to get my camera wet. Well, good day, my friends. Um, I think that might be my saying good day because I never know if you're gonna, if I'm gonna release something in the morning, afternoon, evening, and it might get even more complicated the more eventually when I get on the road because of internet service and stuff like that. So really, things will get unpredictable. <laughs> um, not there yet, but it's hopefully coming, the traveling. But in the meantime, today, as I mentioned, is seeing the new doctor today. So I am so thankful for the cooler weather. Oh my gosh. And if she needs blood work, I don't know if they do it on the spot or if I'll have to come back in, but at least we have a little bit of stretch um, for about a week or so of cooler weather. So hopefully if that happens, I can get back in and quickly get that done for Milo's sake. I mean, I was really praying hard for Milo and I'm so glad for this cooler stretch of rainy weather for his sake because there's no way I'm going to leave him in like I mentioned in a hot car and I'm gonna let her know my situation and um, so I travel I'm in a van and I am hoping to get out get to higher ground and move and then if she needs any other type of testing or something I'll obviously have to come back at the end of September or something nail it in October and and then hopefully get to Arizona. I'm gonna let her know that I do want to eventually relocate to the Southwest. That is my long-term goal and whatever it takes to achieve that goal. Okay, now I'm really hopeful that she will be a kind, compassionate, caring doctor. I, I am really hopeful. Um, I've had good and bad, um, yeah, doctors in my past, more, unfortunately, more bad than good that it's taken me. Sometimes I have to go through about three bad ones to find a good one. So I really hope I nail this the first time. All right. So I'm going to stay hopeful and I hope it's a good match between me and this doctor. Okay, so I'll keep you posted and I'm gonna pack up the van and get heading out and go meet this new doctor. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hi friends, well, we are going to have a little morning coffee chat. 
Well, I did see the doctor yesterday, and she was kind of young, but she's been, I think, about 8 to 10 years, um, you know, in the medical field. She is a DO, so I felt really good about that. But I've been trying to, you know, just process everything that, that happened. Um, trying to have my coffee this morning. Um, but, yeah, um, she stayed focused on my blood pressure. <laughs> it seemed like that was like the main thing she was just so focused on. Because it turns out that my blood pressure was 160 over like 96 or 98. I forgot that exact number. I remember the 160, but it was like 96, 98. So extremely high. So she was just very focused on that, saying that, um, you know, this is way too high and this has to be fixed. And so, um, so I really battled with the adding another medicine into my world. I really did. And that was our button heads and struggling and she kept saying look you have to take this seriously people die from this it is like the number one silent killer or not number one but she just said it is a silent killer in our country you know that people die from and it has it doesn't always have symptoms and so that's why everybody needs to know what their blood pressure is because so many things could go wrong when the blood pressure is high like that and I get that and I've been struggling from not feeling well for a while as you guys have known I mean I started not feeling good last summer when I kept complaining about if my chest and I had feeling of not feeling good and um, and they put me through the stress echo test which that was negative but yet at first when they did check my blood pressure I was a little bit high and they thought well maybe it's just from you trying to get into the appointment here and then they had to wait a little bit because they had to wait for my blood pressure to come down a little bit as a resting so I had to rest and they checked my blood pressure again and they felt it came down low enough for me to proceed with the stress echo test um, now again that one was negative even though at the end i was really having a hard time finishing that stress echo test you know but i did and it was really challenging um but i got it done and again they said it was negative i have had some high blood pressure readings that they've been watching especially that lower number um but the next time it's maybe down again and so this time I was extremely high that she felt that I needed to be medicated well I'm struggling with adding another medication into my world I really am and so um, and I've been on an anti-inflammatory meloxicam since 2010 and she almost was saying you can't be on both the meloxicam and this high blood pressure and but I said well I've been on this I can't come off of it because of the arthritis in my hips you know I've tried to come down off of it but my pain level will become way too high so it's kind of like this catch-22 where if the pain level goes too high blood pressure can go too high my <laughs> Um, insulin levels have been high in the morning, but throughout the day they drop down, which that can, you know, make it challenging for blood pressure. I have been under a lot of stress being in here, here, trying to get out, you know, I really have. And it's been so challenging being here and everything I've been going through. And I know you don't know everything I've been going through because, you know, some things I have to keep personal. Um, but just that personal business I've been dealing with and that's been stressful <laughs> and so yeah I just feel like once I'm out of here you know I'll be able to calm down and relax and things will be better but it's just dealing with everything I'm still trying to deal with trying to get out and get back and be with Kent now I did call Kent and tell him about you know what's going on 
and I have been trying to eat better and bring in more vegetables, but I'm noticing the dressing is high sodium, you know, and so I'm trying to take care of one thing and then the other thing isn't helping me out. And some of the meat choices I've been doing is higher in sodium. Even though I've been trying to watch my carbs, I have dropped weight, but I've been still retaining a lot of uh, fluids, you know, which the heart can cause that. So, um, I've lost weight with my pant size, but I feel like I've lost some weight in my upper body, but at the same time, I still feel that I'm retaining some fluids, you know, in the, in the abdominal area. I feel still that water retention, which now I know why, you know, the heart can do that, you know. So, um... Yeah, I, I just don't know what to do. Um, she wants me to start this, uh, you know, heart medicine, high blood pressure medicine. I have to get rechecked the day after Memorial Day. And then I have a follow-up appointment June 11th. Now, if it gets hot, I'm trying to work out with a friend of mine to watch Milo. Uh, like in my van, maybe she could come with me to the doctors if we do start to warm up again. We cool down now for this doctor's appointment because I was sweating it for him. But maybe she'll come with me and watch Milo if it warms up because I don't want to leave him in, in the van. Uh, at least the one after Memorial Day is a later afternoon appointment at five but the next one is the afternoon but i'm worried about milo as trying to see the doctors and i told her that i have a dog i'm full-time in a van she knows my plan i'm trying to get back with kent and uh and our plans to relocate eventually into a new domicile now they did give me information on who to get in touch with on how to change my medical and make that happen so maybe they have answers on how to do that because my issues are chronic I have chronic medical issues and how to change domiciles with chronic medical issues so hopefully the number she gave me will get me towards a direction because I told her I do feel better when I'm not in the Pacific Northwest most of the year and being here does make my pain level go higher which is harder for everything else, blood sugar, blood pressure, everything else. So she's working with me in that area, you know. So, oh, one day at a time. So I am delayed here until, you know, after this next appointment, probably after June 11th, and I'll just go from there. And I will be working on learning more and more and more to eating better, watching my sodium. I need to be able to exercise more. Um, yeah, so drink more water. I've been working on that. And really the bottom line is watching my stress level increase water, vegetables, lower sodium. And I've been researching a lot more what to do. Um, I know people will say keto, you know, but you got to watch the meats. A lot of you know, keto eat a lot of stuff. I just have to watch that sodium um, because you can in increase your proteins, but if you don't do it with the right proteins and you're doing processed foods, that's going to come with higher sodium. And I think I've been kind of lazy in that department of you know, or area, I should say, and buying lots of processed stuff because I'm in a hurry and I'm going and going and going and not spending enough time cooking and eating better. So I think that also has raised my blood pressure. So uh, I think it's just been a combination of a lot of things. So I do have to be mindful of all of this going on. But I did tell Kent when we get back together, I'm going to be making more things from scratch, you know, not process his stuff. And he's on board with that because we're both at an age in our retirement and getting into our senior, early senior years 
where our bodies are starting to change and we do need to be a lot more mindful about what we put into it and he's on board for that and you know more homemade stuff and and yeah so we'll we'll be doing more healthy eating especially when we get back together um yeah so it's just trying to get back with him and wrap all this stuff up and I don't know, one day at a time, but I'm so worried about heart medicine because I can't start this journey on heart medicine. I have to be on it now, but I want to get off of it. I mean, that's my goal. I might have to get a blood pressure machine um, until I get to another doctor in my new domicile and get my new domicile changed. But somehow I have to figure out this transition with now one more health issue, right? <laughs> Just to complicate things. Um, yeah, but I'm going to have to breathe, stay positive. It will all work itself out or that's just going to keep my blood pressure high, you know, or go higher, which I don't want that to happen. So I have to trust that all this will get itself worked out. Okay. They are going to do some blood work on the day after the appointment, the day after Memorial Day and recheck my blood pressure. So they are going to do some blood work. So yeah, I'm going to stay hopeful, but I also don't want to overload you all with everything on my plate so um yeah i i don't want to be a dump have you or my channel be a dumping ground for unloading all of my medical stuff and i wanted it to be awareness of what can happen on the road with medical issues um but you know to find that balance so i hope to be able to do that keep you informed but not have a dumping ground out there for all my medical issues but I do have one more on my plate that I have to get work through all right so um, yeah just give me in your thoughts and your prayers and we'll go go with that for now and um, I just really thank you for everything and your prayers and your thoughts and I don't know just yeah uh, I just can't believe this I really can't, but, oh, well, I have to stop thinking that things are happening to me, but they're for me, you know? Um, yeah, and better know now than, all right, later on, and you don't know, and then all of a sudden, it is a stroke, or you die, right? So, I guess I've got to be thankful for um, the awareness of it and then finding it out now instead of after something far worse, right? So that's how I have to look at this working for me <laughs> instead of against me. And I can be on top of it. All right. <laughs> so that's enough of that. I love you all. Thanks for following my journey. And um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video as I continue my adventure forward, right? All right, see you then.